You're right there guys, welcome back to another video. This time I'm talking about my white T130 RS. I actually test rode this back in February at Rutland Cycles Demo Day and since then I knew that this was the bike I had to have this year for 2016. Now since then this has got a, a whole host of accolades, lots of four and a half to five star uh, reviews about it. It's also won trail bike, what mountain bike trail bike of the year 2016. And I can really see why. It's uh, very, very well equipped, a very up-to-date bike. The geometry is uh, very modern. Uh, we've got a nice long top tube, nice short stem. It's nice and raked out. Um, but it still pedals well uphill. It's, uh, it seems to have a lot of traction on technical climbs. And when it comes to pointing downhill, it just absolutely hoons. It's only 130 mil travel, but it's what it does with it that counts. And it, um, it's a very capable bike. I've done uh, uplift days at Bike Park Wales on it and Stenyog, uh, as well as um, trails, you know, Swinley and Sherwood and, and local stuff around Peterborough, which is quite flat. And it's more than capable of doing pretty much everything I can throw at it. Uh, the only time I have um, issues with it is when I run out of skill, basically. So yeah, let's uh, talk about some of the details of this bike. We've got full XT11 speed, apart from the turbine crank. We've got uh, the new XT stoppers, we've got pikes, we've got a debonair, and we've got a RockShox dropper. So up and downy bits by RockShox, the good bits, and also the, the, the best bits of Shimano really for me is the XT11 speed. Uh, even the shifter for the XT11 speed's got a real nice feel to it and uh, nice knurling on, on the levers. When it actually comes to spending my own money on a bike, uh, it's not the reviews that sell it to me, it's the details. Because I've got to live with this bike for the next three to four years, it's an investment, and I want to know that it's gonna last and it's gonna be reliable. And uh, so yeah, it's, it's the details that have really sold it to me, because this bike is built for the mud and filth that the UK can throw at it. So um, why I put a lot of thought into this, because it is a British company, so, they know what we have to deal with. We've got uh, no seat clamp here, no traditional seat clamp. There's a seat clamp there. We've even got a little rubber uh, stopper there that stops mud from getting into your, your Allen bolt. And we've got a rubber collar here which just helps stop the water and filth from running down your seat tube and contaminating your bottom bracket. We've also got a lifetime warranty on the bearings which is awesome. So as soon as your bearings are shot, you go back to the shop and they'll give you, uh, they'll order up a fresh set for you. We also have some real nice neat cable routing here. It stays well away from the frame, so these cables and hoses don't rub against your head tube there, so you're not gonna get any cable damage. Nice uh, dropper post routing here, which makes it really nice and easy to route if you ever need to do any maintenance. And another really cool detail is on the bottom side here. So there we go, another great detail here is uh, this uh, cable guide. And uh, it just to, it's to help prevent your uh, cables from rubbing against your bottom bracket as your suspension goes up and down. So like I say, it's not just the uh, good reviews uh, that really sell this bike to me, it's the details that make this bike totally fit for UK trails. And it's an absolute hooner of a bike. So there we go, that's my white T130 RS. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like and subscribe and don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. And I will see you next time.